Well, the Padres come up with two big runs to tie in the top of the ninth. We're going to the bottom of the ninth inning this afternoon. Right-hander Brian Corey takes over on the mound. He worked yesterday and pitched a scoreless inning. Making his 32nd appearance overall here this afternoon. Well, it might be the bottom of the order for Brian Corey, but remember, on the pinch hitting of Albert Pujols, he stayed in the game. He's batting second. He's on deck. So you got LaRue Pujols. And then the pitcher spot. Runs on 11 hits in an error for San Diego. The Padres have stranded 11 base runners today. And, you know, as encouraging as it was to watch the two run rally to tie it in the ninth, I, Buddy Black looked extremely frustrated that San Diego couldn't get another run across. And the ball was smoked off the bat of Adrian right at Pools at first. The Al Raboski Fu Manchu. Jason LaRue singled back in the seventh. His lone hit in a one for three afternoon. First ball swinging. He grounds it to third. Kuzminov has it. Good play by Kuzminov as he got to his feet quickly. And there's one away. So now Corey has to deal with Albert Pujols in one away. On the short hop. And LaRue, who doesn't run well, gives Kuzminov plenty of time. And did you see what Albert Pujols did before he came to the plate? That ball that was struck on the ground in the short hop on the dirt? He asked the home plate umpire to switch out baseballs. He wanted a fresh egg. First pitch to Pujols misses the plate. Pujols hit a sack fly in his lone plate appearance in the seventh. He had the day off as a starter. And that sack fly in the seventh made it a 3-2 Padre lead. Cardinals got three on the gloss home run in the eighth. It looked like they were well on their way toward their first four-game sweep of San Diego since 1990. When the Padres put up a little roadblock, the two-run top of the ninth. You know, looking ahead a bit, Mudcat, there's a chance that, that Thompson hits for himself here. Yeah. If Corey retires Pujols, it's unlikely that Tony La Russa would burn another bench player here with two gone and the bases empty. Pujols is on base, and now La Russa has a decision to make. It'll be Thompson likely bunting Pujols to second to give Skip Schumacher a chance to win it in nine. And Thompson gets a quick lesson in the art of the sacrifice from Jose Okendo. No sense disguising it. And he lays off. It's a ball and no strike. Oh. Snap throw to second. God. Gets away from Gonzalez. Pujols is going to get to second and all the way to third. You know, Not on me. Luke Carlin was throwing at a bag that had nobody there. Edgar Gonzalez was on the run. It was a moving target. And that play there, you have to let him make the sacrifice. If he puts it too hard, you can get the force play. Oh, my. Two base error charged to Luke Carlin. And now Tony La Russa comes out. Is he? It looks like he's going to pinch hit here. I think he's something, just, did something happen with his pitcher at the plate either that or is he thinking maybe I don't know who knows I'm not even going to speculate someone's coming in from the bullpen it's Yadi or Molina
Oh, this so, is unbelievable. So he's going to pitch it for Thompson. It's one and zero, oh, and now he wants Molina to win the ball game here. Well, if you walk Molina, that's a base runner, and then if you walk Schumacher, you got Miles. So do you load him up for Miles? Force it any base? I well, can't see him pitching. To, I can't see him pitching to Molina here. But the problem, if you do that, if you walk. I could see walking Molina and then pitching to Schumacher and pitching to Schumacher because if you walk Molina and Schumacher then you got miles and if you know no I I think the move here would be to to intentionally walk Molina yeah, and then try to get your double play ball yeah, with yeah I Schumacher. agree with you yeah because you know with with one out you don't want to put some pressure on Brian Corey a walk scores a run that's the winning run and with the bases loaded obviously there's nowhere to put them. Uh, this is some kind of plate appearance. Yadier Molina has had a fantastic season. Here comes Buddy Black. And they're talking strategy here because there's nobody up in the bullpen. Well, Hairston's throw in the seventh inning cost San Diego a run. Yep. Carlin's error cost them a run here. Yesterday, the Padres start the ball game with back-to-back -back singles, and one of them gets thrown out going from first to third. I mean, it, they've yeah. just... It's been so sloppy and so rough to watch. They've got a chance here to, to try to weasel out of an inning, but these self-inflicted wounds kind of stay with you. Pujols is the winning run. Yadier Molina has hit only three sack flies all year. This answers our question. And kind of as we thought, they will walk Molina. Skip Schumacher's grounded into 11 double plays. That's the second highest total on the team. You know what? You always have to think of the squeeze here with Tony Larusa, huh? Oh boy, that's a left-handed hitter coming point. up. That's a really good point. Because you know, with one out, if you did, oh, they're going to load them up all the way, Maddie. Yeah. Well, your initial speculation was correct. They will load him up all the way and give Aaron Miles the opportunity. Miles will be batting from the left side of the plate where he has traditionally hit for a little higher average. He's grounded into eight double plays this year. Well, this would be some magician's act if Brian Corey can get out of this fix. Infield comes in and the outfield comes in. I mean, it, Brian Giles is playing just beyond the cutout in right. And versus right handed pitchers, Aaron Miles hitting 327 going into this game. Here's some more bad news that Aaron Miles is the best daytime hitter in Major League Baseball this year. The switch hitting Cardinal infielder bats 438 under the sunshine. And here he is with a chance to win the game. One and oh. A 
A ball and a strike. Miles has a couple of singles today. He had the day off yesterday. One and one to the X Rocky. You can just tell Aaron Miles got such great discipline at the plate as far as recognizing some pitches, especially in this situation. He realizes there's nowhere to put them. Those two baseballs that are now called balls, two and one, he just spit on them. He knew they were well out of the strike yeah. zone. Oh, that's going to do it with an exclamation point. A walk-off grand slam home run. Oh, my heavens. Of all the ways you look for Aaron Miles to maybe beat you, that's not the, that's not the first thing that comes to mind. They're going to hurt the kid. Take it easy down there. Oh, man. Guy with two home runs all year hits a slam after an error and two intentional walks. This Cardinal team has got some kind of momentum to begin the second half. They've won five in a row. They finish off their first four game sweep of the San Diego Padres since 1990. This was how it ends. Brian Corey knew it as soon as the pitch left his hand. 2 1 fastball. He had no other choice to try to locate the fastball. We've seen fastballs being hit. Mistakes. 9 to 5, St. Louis. The final score. Mud and I are back right after this.